Good afternoon all. Uh, this is a, another oratory, and this one ironically is seasonal compared to the last couple. It's titled Love, with a question mark. Oh, I have not had the, the best experience in terms of friendships or sexual relationships. So this is more of a, a culmination of that, I, I guess, in some sense. <clears throat> what is love but a bundle of actions and emotions? Something you wish you could tear out and present to people, relieved that someone can understand you, only to be told you're being too forward or creepy. Or maybe just too self-critical. What is love but a pain, a leech, an IV drip? Even more useless than the human spleen, but sensitive enough that if ruptured, could slowly kill someone from the inside out. As much as we praise love as the end all cure, it sure takes a lot of peril and experience to experience it firsthand, and even more to sacrifice to know if it. It's the only time you'll have to go through it so much to experience something. Part of me wants to look on the bright side and say love is the amazing and explosive and all-consuming and perfect. But I can't. I've went through too much in the span of my lifetime to say that love is worth it long term. It, it's fun in the moment, but after you've figured a person out, whether that discovery is sexual or friendly... They become less of a person, and more of a, a cardboard cutout. Something you inevitably put in deep storage along with all the other people you've met over the years. I know it's just me. I know it's how I went around figuring people out. I know it's because of mistakes I made as a kid. But I don't want to be stuck like this. I want to know people on all three on a three-dimensional level. <laughs> but how do I go about that when I've I can't even draw people from a three-fourths perspective? I'm probably just muddling this whole thing up, so I'll end this on a good note. Take your time to know people. Even if their tropes are predictable, or you've met someone that acts almost exactly like, I, like they do, or... I don't know. Just don't give up on a person unless you have apt reason to. And if you feel like you should move up to the next level, ask them about it. Hiding stuff like that for, for a long time can affect the relationship in a way that isn't fixable. Believe me, I know. And I'm ironically still doing it. Take my advice of the grain of salt. I just don't like the idea of someone going through what I went through recently. But regardless, enjoy your Valentine's Day to the fullest. Part one, part of, a party of one or many.